Yeah, all right, all right. Where's that Tex Benedict? Tex, where are you, stupid American? I hate Americans. I hate that stupid American grungy music. Tex, where are you? Tex? 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 Wrestling with me, Fiona Fox. On today's show, Ricky Hype will be in action, and in the main event, we'll see the tag team title rematch between Hot Property and Project Future. The last time these two teams met, Hot Property scored a fluke win. Can they make it two for two? Let's go to ringside. And his opponent hailing from Hereford, coming to the ring weighing in at 14 stone, this is Ashley Steele. Well, Ricky Hype's opponent tonight will be a young lad by the name of Ashley Steele. He's one of our preliminary talents and obviously he was a bag of nerves backstage when I got to meet him. However, he managed to calm down, seems like a fantastic lad. All the best of luck to him. And here he is, Ashley Steele. Chris Roberts hasn't been drinking because he'll certainly need to be on his peak performance as a referee to ensure that no shenanigans go down here tonight when you're in a match with Ricky Hype. Checking the wristbands there. Obviously clean. I mean, I, I would certainly check Ricky Hype. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Well, the, well, the referee wants to check the wrist tape and... I mean, this is a man. I mean, this is a man who previously managed to smuggle a weapon into a wrestling ring, and he used that weapon to completely crush the orbital bone of Jason Sweet Sensation. So I wouldn't put it past him to smuggle in something which he could use to get the upper hand. But if I know Ricky Hype, I'll believe he'll be quite cocky, and he'll reckon he'll be in for an easy night here tonight. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the referee has just informed me that if Ricky Hype does not get in the ring by the count of 10, not only will he lose the match, he'll also lose his wages for this evening. Well, Ricky Hype, the arrogant individual that he is, I mean, he was going to walk out of this ring because he believed he is above Ashley Steele. So, of course, the referee has threatened Ricky Hype with one of the few things that he holds dear, money. This match is underway. Well, Ashley Steele, as you can see, will not have the weight advantage. I hope he can just use that speed to hopefully keep one step ahead of Ricky Hype. Hype now with the full Nelson and just using his brute strength there. And he's like pulling his hair blatantly. The referee's warning him. Well, Ashley Steele, they're trying to go for a hammerlock, but Ricky Hype, too strong, too confident in what he's doing there. Ashley Steele, not too sure where he can go from here. Breaks the, uh, oh, monkey flips him out. Beautifully executed. He broke the full Nelson, flipped out Ricky Hype. And I don't think Ricky Hype was quite expecting this. I don't think Hype's gonna get uh, much support for his home country. This Welsh warrior, a man who was the first British tag team champion here in LDN. His partner, Matt Vaughan, has now left. And it's now Ricky Hype, who must fly the flag of Wales on his own. Quick cover there from Ashley Steele. He might not have the, uh, the muscle mass of Ricky Hype, but he certainly showed some skills in the early going. We're still early days yet. Ashley Seal's got to look out for those right hooks of Ricky Hype. I mean, if you allow Ricky Hype to turn this into a fight, the pendulum will most definitely swing his way. Ooh, big tie headlock right there. And Ashley Seal straight away to one knee. I mean, Ricky Hype, I mean, look at the size of those proverbial guns he's got on those arms. I mean, really, this is a man who could possibly make you submit with a headlock. Well, Ashley Steele now firing those shots into the midsection, trying to escape. Oh, but Ricky Hype, just too strong and too determined to continue his bullying ways. Well, that looks like a, almost like a blatant choke there. The referee's got to be very careful. Couple of shots to the midsection. Well, off the ropes, this time it worked, but oh! There's the leap from off the ropes again, over the sleeper, off the ropes again, takes the drop kick. And Ricky Hype hits down hard. Obviously, I don't know what happened there, but a little bit of a collision. Ashley Steele managing to flip Ricky Hype over and then drop kicks him out of the ring. And Ricky Hype finds solace near his Welsh flag on the outside. As you can see, the fans are now chanting Ashley. I mean, this is Ashley Steele's first match in an LDN ring. Now, what a feather in his cap it would be if he could actually pin this behemoth Ricky Hype to the mat. <clears throat> Ricky Hype, meanwhile, frustrated, angry. This young upstart has showed him up a little bit. I mean, Ricky Hyde was willing to walk out thinking he was above this man. Oh, and Ashley Steele off the ropes. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. He's used the ring apron to block the baseball slide. Well, that's certainly inventive, but this is not a street fight, and the referee needs to get in there quickly. Because at the moment, looks like Ricky Hype is just using every dirty trick in the book to get his way, choking Ashley Steele along that bottom rope. Well, you can see Ashley Steele there grasping his throat, desperate to get some air. And Ricky Hype now just dropped the axe handle off the apron onto his upper back. 
Throws Ashley Steele back into the ring. And you can hear the fans chanting England. Ashley Steele has the weight of an entire country on his shoulders. Oh, big T-bone suplex. And Ricky Hype literally threw Ashley Steele, regardless of whether he was carrying the country on his shoulders or not. Well, I was going to say pinfall, but that is blatantly a choke. The referee's seen that sort of thing before. Ricky Hype there relinquishes that illegal hold. Big body slam there. Ricky Hype hits it hard, hits it good. Well, Ricky Hype's in absolutely no rush whatsoever. He's going to slowly and methodically pick this man apart. And there he is using the boot, the sole of his boot, to choke out Steele in the corner. And Steele now. God, it looks like Ricky Hype's trying to press his jaw out of his socket. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee gives Ricky Hype his first public warning. There you go, first public warning there. Ricky Hype is incensed. Oh, and he just splashes Ashley, and Ashley gentlemen, into the corner. Ricky Hype receives his second and final public warning. Well, I guess Ricky Hype got the second public warning for arguing with the referee. He's got to be careful not to be disqualified here. Ashley Steele, oh, very nice. Oh, into a sunset flip pinning combination. But Ricky Hype was able to kick out. Sweeps the leg. Ashley Steele, nicely done, hooks both legs. But Ricky Hype able to get out of that. Oh! Straight into the right kneecap there of Ashley Steele. He went, he knew exactly what he was looking for, and he went straight for it. Now he snap mares down, Ashley Steele. Oh, we've seen this before. Gets his opponent down to the ground, and then punishes them with a series of kicks. Now, if the referee had seen that, that would have most definitely have been a disqualification. We've got to go away, but this match will continue after the break. That Tex Benedict. Tex, where is he? Tex, hang on, you're not Tex. No, but so everyone's got their price. Are you the million dollar man, Teddy Biossi? I would not think so. I'd have to show you money. Are you absolutely sure? No. Tex! Tex, are you out here? Oh, oh. yeah, when you find Tex, like you said you was going to, where's my belt? I'm, I'm trying to find it for you, Mr. Ritchie. I, I will find it for you. John, find my belt. I will find sort it. Sort my belt out, then you can sort my life out. Oh, I will. Yeah. Oh, I will. See about getting me out of here. I, I will, uh, Mr. Ritchie. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll, I'll find it. This is London. I, I dread to think what Ricky Hype has in mind for Ashley Steele. Well, Ashley Steele is desperately trying to get back up here. And, and Ricky Hype now, oh, just stomping away on Ashley Steele. I mean, where's the referee during all of this? Well, I can see from my vantage point, the referee was, was inspecting a turnbuckle, was inspecting a turnbuckle based on the trust of Ricky Hype. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and he throws Ashley Steele hard into that turnbuckle, using that pure raw power that he has. I mean, this really has to be too much, even for Ashley Steele. I mean, he's using a combination of big power moves, frankly, disgusting illegal techniques, and really, and, you know, he's worked on the legs, he's now working on the arms, he's just picking this kid to pieces. I honestly do not know what Ashley Steele could do to survive this match, or maybe that'll work. Head scissors takedown. Ricky Hype has been slightly rocked. It might be enough for Steele, though. Well, there's the reversal off the ropes. Oh, hang on a sec. Ash Steele went for a wheelbarrow. Oh, and he hits a bulldog out of it. 
Well, Ashley Steele's just hit a really nice move right there. It could certainly lead him to victory if he can follow it up. Well, it looks like that. Ashley Steele's going to go for hit or miss here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if a risk is really what he needs to take right here because hype is already stirring. Ricky Hype is up. Let's see where he can take this. Oh, and Hype caught him. This is not good. Big eight-second ride. And the Hype just plants his opponent down to the ground with such force. Ricky Hype now is going for a oh, swing around Joran Archie. And Ricky Hype think that's it. Well, Ricky Hype's hit a huge Euron Archie. He's not following it up. Oh, just lays the Welsh flag against his opponent. And the referee's going to count him down. It looks like the Ricky Hype's going to take it by a no-standing 10 count. But Ashley Steele, he's beat the 10 count. I mean, Ashley Steele beat the 10 count. Ricky Hype's furious. But Ashley Steele out of the corner. One, two. Oh my goodness, he got it. He got it. Here is your winner, Ashley Steele. What an upset. And you have to believe that Ricky Hype is incensed. He hit that huge swing around, you're an archie. And he could have gone for the one, two, three, but being as arrogant as he was, he let the referee count him down for no standing 10 count. Have Ashley still beat the 10 count, and just out of nowhere, out of the corner, one, two, three, Ashley still, huge upset, is your victor tonight. Don't go away, we've got the London Eye coming up, but in tonight's main event, the British Tag Team Championships will be decided when Project Future will get their opportunity at redemption when they go against the current champs, Hot Point. Championship belt. LDN Championship belt. Have you seen it? No, We've lost it. He's definitely not got it in there in the boot. LDN belt. No. Oh, some people ain't quiet. Hello and welcome to the London Eye with me, Fiona Fox, bringing you the latest news here in LDM. The wait is almost over, and next week John Ritchie will be awarded the brand new LDN British Championship belt. However, despite being awarded the new belt next week, John Ritchie is still furious over the test of the original championship belt and what he sees as a lack of action by LDN officials. Therefore, as per the requests of both LDN management and John Ritchie, LDN's resident life coach John Chapman is on location trying to find the man responsible for the test to text Benedict. I've been Fiona Fox bringing you the latest news here in LDN. Don't go away as we still have the British Tag Team Championship being decided in tonight's main event.
Excuse me. Yes, sir. Oh, Mike Mendoza. Uh, yeah, it's important, really. Big fan of your work, but have you seen uh, the Eldian Championship belt anywhere? Is it in now? Then I'll go get that to me later. Oh, I don't know. Right, oh, come on, let's go, guys. This is London. This is London. This is London. Hey! Ladies and gentlemen, love them, or as most do, hate them, Jamie James, Chris Bobaway, formerly Team Sex A, and now Hot Property, have become the British Tag Team Champions at the expense of Project Future. And this is most definitely a battle of the fan favourites versus... A pair of delinquents. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the story of this match is that Project Future lost to this team and nobody saw it coming. And it was all due to the referee, Chris Roberts. The referee did not see the foot on the bottom rope. And because of that, he kept counting. He counted one, two, three, and Hot Property took home the British Tag Team Championships. And nobody, and I mean nobody wanted to see this. And there you can see referee Chris Roberts being molested. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, the challengers hailing from Hollisden in Hertfordshire. And a total combined weight of 25 stone, Ricardo Young, Bobby Hostile, Project Future! Project Future are determined to get the British Tag Team Championship back. And this is most definitely personal between these two teams. And it's just started into an absolute brawl straight from the get-go. Oh, nice drop kick there from Bobby Hostile. Ricardo Young off the top, wipes out Jamie James and now flailing around with those punches. Meanwhile, we've got Bobby Hostile and Chris Bovway inside. And Bobby Hostile is having his way at the moment with, with... Oh, hang on a second. What's going on here? Looks like we're going to see some double team tandem moves here. Big back elbow there from Ricardo Young. Snap mares down Chris Bob away and snaps the neck over the top. Big elbow drop. Now, this is the experience factor that Project Future bring. And this is the very same reason why everyone was so shocked to see Hot Property win the match, because frankly, they just aren't in Project Future's lead. Oh, big hip toss right there. That shook the very earth. And now Bobby Hostile and Ricardo Young is most, well, I can see clearly what they're gonna, gonna do. They're basically focusing on Chris Bovaway. They're gonna dismantle him, and hopefully this will lead them back to what many people feel is theirs, and that's the British Tag Team Championships. Ricardo Young now stomps away on Chris Bovaway, one half of the British Tag Team Champions. Sets him up for a nice big suplex. Oh, it's blocked there by Bovaway. Chris Bovaway does not want to go for this ride. However, oh no, almost. And he gets it finally. Chris Bovaway managed to block it on several occasions, was not capable in getting the reversal. As you can see there, Jamie James on the outside being as usually offensive to the audience. Ricardo Young now picks up Chris Bovaway, and there's the tag to Bobby Hostile. Oh, hang on a second. Standing moonsault beautifully executed there from Bobby Hostile. You can tell that they don't take these guys seriously when they hit offense like that. Oh, nice stalling suplex right there, and Chris Bovaway is in a world of hurt. Very 
Very nice Japanese style arm drag right there from Bobby Hostile. And after hitting the arm drag, picks up Chris Bovaway straight away. Brings him into his corner, applies the wrist lock. Now brings him back down and gets the arm bar. And there you can see Chris Bovaway. He's screaming for his mother almost. He is, he's really has been brutalized there by that shoulder hold. Oh, hang on, and Chris Bovaway with a break of the eyes was the only way he could get the tag. And here comes Jamie James. Oh, and instead gets an arm drag straight for his troubles. Honestly, I would have thought that Hot Property thought this was the break they needed, but Jamie James straight into an armbar there from Bobby Hostile. Oh, and Bobby Hostile spills to the outside. Jamie James managed to drop that top rope and Chris Bobaway straight away with an assault there on Bobby Hostile. On straight into the ring post and the referee isn't seeing any of it. Well, as you can see, Ricardo Young is myth to say the least. Meanwhile, Bobby Hostile is at the mercy of a steel post on the outside. Jamie James directing traffic in the ring. As you can see now, Jamie James now stomping away on Bobby Hostile. Chris Bobaway just giving advice there to Jamie James, encouraging to continue the offence on that shoulder. Jamie James having dropped his knee pad for maximum impact. And there's the cover. Oh, and he kicks out. Well, Chris Bobaway now. He's going to do the side of the apron to keep an eye on what's going on. Meanwhile, Jamie James has that hold sunk in nice and deep, preventing Bobby Hostile from reaching the bottom ropes. He applies the wrist lock. Good straightforward technical wrestling here from Jamie James. And there's an open palm strike there by one half of the British Championships. Applies the arm winger and ooh, snaps it down. It looks like the hot property have finally found what their opportunity. They are working here on the arm of Bobby Hostile. And now Chris Bobway off the second rope, drops the axe handle. At the moment, Chris Bovaway has got that reverse hammerlock sunk in nice and deep. Bobby Hostile, however, able to get back to his feet. Chris Bovaway really didn't have the technique on properly there. However, he's got it now. Oh, and he just fires that forearm right into the arm there of Bobby Hostile. Oh, snap mare there from Chris Bovaway and Jamie James is now in the ring. However, he's far too focused on the crowd and not on his opponent. Well, I don't know what they're planning on thinking. Oh, hang on a second. Now this is looking very, oh, come on. Referee, get Bovaway out of there. Get Chris Bovaway back onto the apron. This is a wrestling match. This is not a sh opposing showdown. Jamie James now with the cover, hooks the leg. However, Bobby Hostile still able to kick out. If they had concentrated more on offense and less on posing, maybe they will have won this. But uh, anyway, Bovaway now, Chris Bovaway now tagged back into the match. Chris Bobaway now launches. Oh, hang on a sec. Reversal right there. Oh, backslide. Good technique there from Bobby Hostile. But there's the kick out there. And, oh, dogs the clothesline, goes, goes for that crucifix roll-up, beautifully executed. However, Chris Bobaway will not stay down. He's got the wrist lock again, and, oh, just dropped a modified ace crusher right on the shoulder joint, and that'll certainly get the job done. 
Go for the pinfall. Will it be enough? No. Not even driving the forearm into the skull there of Bobby Hostile worked. We've got to go away, but this match will continue after the break. Jamie James now just scrape, he just scraped the top there of Bobby Hostile's face, showed no respect whatsoever. And Chris Bobway just allowed himself back into the ring, launches Bobby Hostile off the ropes. Oh, going for a double back drop, and oh, nice double DDT! And you can see Ricardo Young acting like a jumping bean. He sends that the pendulum of momentum has most definitely swung in his favour. If only Bobby Hostile can make the tag. If he tags in Ricardo Young, Ricardo will have a very good chance of reclaiming the British Tag Team Championships for his team. Bobby, 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 Bobby. Oh, even the fans want this. There's the tag. Here comes Ricardo Young. Double clothesline, waiting for them both to get back up again. And another! And both men, I mean, Chris Bowley's just turned inside and out. Anyway, Jamie James now, launched off the ropes, rebound, big back elbow, and Jamie hits the ground hard. It looks like Bobby is, uh, Bob, uh, sorry, Ricardo Young now going straight for Bobby Way. Nice spinning heel kick right across the jawline there. And you can see there Chris Bobaway holding his face in pain. It looks like now, oh, oh, he's going for a suplex and Jamie James has dropped. It looks like Ricardo Young most definitely having his way. T-bone suplex. Looks like Bobby Hostile's getting in some in there as well. Jamie James now. They both launch Jamie James off the ropes. Oh, they swing him through. One's gone for it. Oh, hang on, they're both going for it. Oh, a single leg Boston Crab. I mean, unfortunately, this will not get the job done. And oh, Chris Boverway there manages to hit a very sweet looking kick there. Right in the face of Bobby Hostile and now into the face of Ricardo Young. Ricardo held on to that submission in case Jamie James submitted, however, it was not to be. Chris Bobway now launches Ricardo Young, and oh! He just drop kicked him on the way down, goes for the pinfall, that can't be it, no. Ricardo Young kicks out at two. I have to say, for a man who likes to spend his weekends dressed as a sailor, Chris Bobway is doing very well in this contest so far. He's now signalling for the corner, and you have to believe that he's really got a death wish on his hands. That is it, well, unless he connects, and maybe this will be worth it. No, it was a death wish. Ricardo Young now has him perched on the top rope. Fires away with those shots along the back, and it looks like he's going for a... Ooh, a, a, a top rope T-bone, perhaps. Oh, that's an ugly suplex. That was nasty. And Chris Bovaway, I think his internal organs have just shut down with that move. And Ricardo Young desperately crawling for the pinfall. One, two. Oh, and Jamie James is there for the last second save.
Well, Jamie James now and Ricardo Young, they're the two men who are standing in the middle of that ring right now. Jamie James firing those right shots, a quick knee to the face. I mean, Ricardo Young's desperately trying to set him up for that finisher, and there it is, the future shock. Jamie James is out cold. One, two, and oh! Well, I mean, well, Project, I mean, Hot Property want a timeout, but we're in the middle of a match. This is not the time and place for a timeout. Well, it looks like the referee's counting them out. Now, if this happens, this will be a tragic way for the match to end. Titles can't change hand on a count out. But the referee's not letting Project Future follow. Oh, my God, it's an eight count. Hot Property have got one second to get back to the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Hot Property have just been counted out of this match. They voluntarily walked away from it. And I think Pro Ladies Project and Future have won. With Hot Property failing to beat the referee's count to 10, the winners of the match, Project Future. However, ladies and gentlemen, under LDN rules, the championship cannot change hands on a count out. Therefore, still the champions, Hot Property. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's an unfortunate end, but oh, all hell is breaking loose here. I mean, with the same tag team and the same referee, I mean, two matches in a row now, Project Future have been screwed out of their righteous claim as the British tag team champions. Meanwhile, Chris Bobaway takes the future shock, and Project Future are angry, and they have just taken out all their frustrations right on the skull of Chris Bobaway. I don't know where, where it's going to come from here, but, oh, this is ugly. You want a rematch? We want a rematch! Once again, you've proved nothing to be cowards. Cowards, hot property. Get out of that ring. That's it. We've had enough. No messing about. Next time, there's no escape. Because next time, there's no disqualification. There's no count out. So you will not be able to escape. And we will take these titles in grace on Capital TV. We will take those titles and once again, be champions. Where is the belt? I'm going to get a sign for our You're belt. asking me where my belt is? Yes. You know, every time I hear it, you tell me what to do, you give me all this advice, you're meant to be my life coach, I come out and you go, you know what, when your luck is down, Tex, when your luck is down, you gotta grab your luck, you gotta take your luck, you gotta grab it by the cajones, I've done that, and now you've lost my belt, what is happening, where is it? No, I said you're a tiger, Arr! you're a tiger, Arr! otherwise, when your luck is down, Arr! grab it, that's exactly what I did, I took the belt from John Ritchie, because of what you said to me, and now you've lost my belt? Well, we need it. Where did you put it? What do you mean we need it? Where, have you put it down the sofa? Or? I need it. Where is my belt, Chapman? I need it. I'm going to get the sack. Do you mean you're going to get the sack? I find the belt. I find the belt. I find the belt is here, yeah. Who's this? this? I find the belt. This is my friend, Chemical Kebab. Chemical Kebab? Give me that belt, man. Are you serious? I just, I just live in here. I just run and I see the belt is outside. I just the corner. I find the corner. Where was it? Was it in Chemical Kebab shop? I know that just the corner. I don't know. When I'm passing here, I just pass it. I don't like see the belts. But look, it doesn't matter. The main thing is, we've got the belt. This one is it, this one, you right? Yes, we've got the belt. I'm going to carry on life coaching. You're going to carry on, I don't know, being American. And you're going to carry on with chemical kebab shop, yeah? No problem, yeah. Excellent, high five. High five, yeah. High five, yeah. Good luck, yeah. Good luck, yeah. No problem, my friend. Now listen here, chat. No problem. Good luck, yeah. Good luck, yeah. Can we 